Shaken or stirred? It's the age-old question that actually does matter. A martini, shaken, not stirred. Vodka martini, shaken, not stirred. Shaken, not stirred. The iconic shaken, not stirred line from James Bond might have been the pop culture catalyst that has everybody asking, hmm, do I want my drink shaken or stirred? It doesn't take a secret agent to crack this cocktail code, but there is a little science behind the two methods. So we're obviously looking to mix our ingredients when we shake or stir a cocktail, but that's not really the reason behind it. There's really two reasons why we shake and stir a cocktail. One, to dilute the drink, and two, to chill it. You might be asking yourself, why do we want to dilute the drink? We actually want to taste the spirit. Well, this actually does improve the taste. Think about the last time you had a warm sip of tequila. Yeah, not good. And think of the time you had a chilled one. Much better. During the mixing process, the ice melts and slightly softens the harsh taste of the alcohol. When you shake a cocktail, you have a higher ice to liquid ratio, about one to one ice to liquid, and in some cases, even two to one, increasing the surface area of ice in contact with your drink. This leads to faster melting, which equals more dilution and quicker chilling. On the other hand, when you stir a cocktail, there's less ice to liquid ratio, about one part ice to three parts liquid. This allows for less surface area in contact with ice, which essentially means slower dilution and gradual chilling. You'll often notice cocktails that call for being stirred are served with one large piece of ice, typically a sphere or cube. This plays a big role in the dilution process and where heat transfer comes into play. Heat transfer is the movement of thermal energy between objects. Ice absorbs heat, causing it to melt. The more surface area a piece of ice has, the more area available for heat transfer. So now that you know the why, when should you opt for shaken versus stirred? A good rule of thumb is if you have a balance of alcoholic and non-alcoholic ingredients in your cocktail, you shake it. Think cocktails made with citrus like a margarita or egg whites like a gin fizz. Shaking it ensures that you get the ingredients thoroughly combined, you have a great chill on it, and a nice frothy finish. Stirred cocktails will be on the other side of the spectrum. Think of ones that are more alcohol-based, like an old-fashioned or a gin martini. These drinks are spirit forward and we do not want to over-dilute them. Stirring it allows the drink to cool and slightly melt the ice without watering it down. Now that you know the science behind shaking versus stirring your cocktails, drop in the comments if you think Mr. Bond was ordering his martinis the right way. Shaken, but not stirred. And if you want to see more videos like this, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell.